Hello YouTube. We like to do a lot of good home cooking here at the farm and one of the recipes we've developed over time I call mashed potato flapjacks. And this is made with leftover mashed potatoes either leftover from say the night before or within a couple days or it can also be made with frozen mashed potatoes. The trick is if you use frozen mashed potatoes you have to thaw them out and you'll find they're a little bit watery so you have to add a thickening agent or two. We've experimented a little bit and found that if you add a tablespoon or two of flour and possibly an egg or just the white of the egg this takes care of the need to thicken the, the batter, if you will, and hold the potato pancakes together if the mashed potatoes have been frozen before. If they haven't been frozen, you really don't need the thickening agent. We have tried it also just with flour, and that works too, but if you, if you really find that they fall apart, still you may want to add at least the white of the egg, and that really holds it together very well. We're going to use a slice of onion, and one stick of venison sausage, although you can use any kind of sausage in this recipe, and a little bit of salt and pepper. And you can also use leftover mashed potatoes that have not been frozen, but these have been frozen, and therefore they're gonna be a little bit watery, so we're going to have to use about a tablespoon of flour just to thicken the potatoes so they'll hold together while we fry them in a cast iron frying pan. Okay, Neil's gonna cut up the onion, chop the onion, so to speak, but we're using a knife rather than a chopper because it's just one slice of onion. And then we've already sliced up the little venison sausage pieces. The sausage is really hot and, I mean, spicy hot. So we only need a little bit of it in order to give the potato pancakes a great flavor. A little bit of that goes a long ways. And now he's gonna just take a soup spoon, tablespoon of flour and, <clears throat> excuse me, and mix it into the potatoes. And stir that up and then adding a little bit of salt and pepper. We'll stir it up a little more. I'm going to turn on this pan, get it, get it pretty hot before we add the onions. And basically what we do is we'll fry up the onions first so that they'll be cooked before we add them back into the potatoes. Same with the sausage. We'll just brown those little pieces so that they're already well, they'll have a nicer flavor if they're browned. It's fully cooked, so you don't have to, but um, it'll also help warm up the potatoes so it'll cook more thoroughly, more quickly. All right, the cast iron frying pan is hot, so we're gonna go ahead and add the onions and sausage and just heat them up, brown them a little. You can turn the pan down a little because you don't wanna get it too hot. Maybe turn it down to about four. Yeah, that's good. We'll spread out those onions and we'll explain why we like cast iron in another video perhaps, but you don't have to do this recipe in cast iron. It's just the way we prefer to cook. The onions are nicely brown, so Neil's going to take them and put them in with the potatoes. and set the pan aside so it doesn't burn. And then we're going to go ahead and stir the, why don't you bring that a little closer? Yeah, there you go. It looks kind of unusual, but it sure tastes good. And 
Now they're all mixed in, so we're going to move the frying pan back onto the hot burner. And we're going to make four little potato pancakes as quickly as we can. This pan's pretty hot. Four, more or less. And you want the pan, you want them to sizzle when you put them in there so that they'll brown nicely. And you can just add to those with the rest of the mixture. And then sort of use the spoon to flatten them a little so that the pan is mostly filled, but without them colliding too much. And then we need to add a little more oil because the the oil that was in there sort of soaks into the bottom of the pancakes. And we use olive oil, so you don't have to worry about, oh, consuming too much oil. Olive oil is good for you, as far as I know. And we're going to let them sizzle there for just a couple minutes until you can tell that they're getting browned. And they get browned on the inside of the pan first, so we're going to have to pivot them around, put the inside to the outside after they start to gel together. You don't want to try to move them too soon because they'll fall apart. Okay, we're ready to pivot these little potato pancakes, so Neil's going to do that for us so that they get evenly browned. And when he's done pivoting them, he'll slide them a little bit back into the center of the pan. And we'll probably have to add a little more oil. They do soak up some olive oil. We'll let them finish browning on the on the center side now again. And then it'll be time to flip them over. They're ready to be flipped. Whoops, that happens. <laughs> the good news is they're holding together pretty well. Now, it won't take as long. Let's, we'll recenter the pan over the burner and add just a wee bit more oil. It's only going to take probably another two minutes to finish these up now. And we will go ahead in another minute or so to pivot them so that the outside and the inside of the bottom will both get nicely browned. This whole process takes about 10 to 12 minutes from the time you're browning the onions until the potato pancakes are finished. Of course, it's going to be variable depending upon um, you know, how thick you make the pancakes, how hot you make the pan. This is the way we like them. We like them nice and brown and a little bit crispy. So these are also really good, served up with a couple of fried eggs. We're not doing that this morning. We're gonna let the protein from the sausage suffice. Uh, because we're getting over our um, holiday indulgences and just don't need the extra calories. So anyway, Neil's going to go ahead and serve a couple of these up in each plate and we're going to enjoy a wonderful breakfast. A great thing to do with leftover mashed potatoes. So we're looking forward to a great breakfast. And here they are, our wonderful ah! potato flapjacks or potato pancakes, whatever title you prefer. And of course, Jake the dog would love to have some, but he already had his breakfast, so we're going to enjoy now. Thanks for watching.